How y'all doing today, man? As you know, my name is Kyle Jacko, checking in from Atlanta, Georgia right now. And this is Craig OG Costa. Yes, this is the Lions Den. The Lions Den has been created because why, Mr. Craig? Well, you know what? When we first put the Lions Den together, we wanted to talk about things that brothers get in the, in the uh, barbershop and talk about things. Thanks. We agree, we disagree, but you know what? We leave that barbershop with a good haircut and an understanding of how everybody's feeling. So that's what the Lions Den is all about. I don't know about a haircut, man. I don't hey, know. I like mine. I don't I know like what a haircut mine. looks like right now at all. But today's video, man, something hit me today when I said, you know what? This would be a great topic. Trials and tribulations. Mm. Mm. I say trials and tribulations because I look at my whole entire life. Everything that I went through, the ups, the downs, and everything that I went through, I had to go through the trials and tribulations to become who I am right now. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't always fun. No, it wasn't always cool. Yes, some friends had to leave. Some family members had to leave because on the journey I was going on, they couldn't come. But I had to go through these friendships. I had to go through these children's mothers. I had to go through a whole lot. But with everything that I went through, I just kept on learning every single day that God never left me. He uh -huh. never left me, no matter what I went through, no matter how many times I took off and ran mm -hmm. the other direction, God was still like, he don't come right back. So it could be somebody watching this video right now, and you like, man, I go through a lot of stuff too. I go through a whole lot, I go through a whole lot. Why am I going through it? You have to go through it to get out of it and become something better than what you was. A lot of times when we go through life, we want to always call on our friends. We always want to call on our family. We want to call everybody else. Like, I know I go through a lot of stuff, and I call Mr. Craig, but I know at the, at the end of the day, Mr. Craig can't help me. He can advise me. He can tell me something, but every time he tells me, it's going to lead right back to God every single time. So when you're going through these trials and tribulations, I don't need you to quit. I don't need you to get frustrated. I don't need you to even curse nobody out. I need you to sit back and think about this right here. What I'm going through right now, Last year, was it different? If it was different last year, that means you're going on the right path. But nobody said it's going to be easy. I'm not even going to lie to you and say that. The stuff that you're going through is going to take time. You have to elevate. It has to go. But you have to go with the trial and tribulation. You have to understand that this is your winning season, no matter how it looks right now. Mr. Craig, what you got to say? You know what? For the first time, I'm going to agree with most of the stuff he just said. <laughs> Trials and tribulations are exactly that. It is what God has put out there and what you position yourself to happen to yourself in your life. Trials and tribulations. And you know what? You're going to have them. You are going to have them. What you got to do is to be prepared for them. So I agree with him. Y'all mark this day because it don't happen very much. But you can't run from them. Believe you me, you can't run from them. God's going to continue. God's going to let you run. <laughs> He's going to let you run. But he knows what's going on around that corner, what's going on in your head. And he knows eventually you're going to come right back to where you should be. Yes. And every single time when I tell people this right here, you can have a you have a basic mentality or you have an enriched mentality. Let me tell you what the basic mentality is. The basic mentality is looking at everything in your life and just saying that you can't make it past no matter what. You keep on speaking negativity in your life. You keep on saying it can't happen. That's that basic mentality. Now, the other mentality is something that I love. The other mentality right there, that's something right there that you can't get from just a book. That's something that you got to just go through life and see what works, what doesn't work. That's certain stuff in life where you got to just see where you're going. That's certain stuff in life when you sit by the elders and the elders telling you something, you're able to see what they went through and see how you can get past what you're going through. Because I know one thing about life. Me and you probably ain't do the same thing in life, but I know you went through a lot of stuff that you could tell me about and I could just overcome certain situations. Sure. And vice versa. But it goes back well. But a lot of people is, is stuck in that basic mentality. Yep, they're stuck. So we, my form of a basic mentality is that. What is your form of a basic mentality? Well, you know, I, everybody designs it differently. My mm -hmm. my basic mentality is I got to keep that spiritual presence around me and for me. I had to learn that. Don't get me wrong. I didn't come out of here thinking, oh, I know what the Lord is all about. I had to learn that. However, as you're dealing with your basic mentality, you are having to understand the consequence of every situation. If I make a decision X, the consequences of X is going to be something else. And that's why 
it's called trials and tribulations. Because if you're not understanding that everything you do out there has a consequence and you just think it's all going to be good, then you got some surprises coming at you. So Kyle, my basic, as I was growing up, was trying to learn out what the consequences were going to be. Hopefully getting to my goal. So that as I'm making decisions going forward, I'm making them hopefully in toward the, the consequences and or the goal that I really am trying to reach. And I guess that's old school there. Not everybody gets it. I think that works for me. It may not work for you. How about you, my man? Uh, it works for me too. And like now, uh, enriched mentality. See, my, so your basic mentality was that. My enrich mentality is putting everything with the Holy Spirit and God and moving forward. So you see how they still go together? Either way it goes, it's just mine is a little bit different than Mr. Craig's. An enrich mentality is something that you knowing that whatever you're going through right now, your trial and tribulations, God's going to carry you. You knowing that the Holy Spirit will guide you. You know your discernment will guide you around the people. You knowing that everything has to change, everything has to overlap and do something different in your life. It ain't gonna be the same way. No, we all don't wanna go through it. No, we don't wanna see it happen because at the end of the day, we want everything to be served on a plate right now. You want, you want all your blessings and everything right now. That's not gonna happen that way. Everybody that you see in front of you right now, they had to go through the base mentality and the enriched mentality. But they went through it and now they have a testimony over the trials and tribulations. You see how everything worked? But it all went right back to God. What you gotta say? Boy, you amaze me sometimes with some of that depth you dig down and get. But, and I agree with him. Again, that's two in one video. Um, but what I've learned, though, guys, is that, and I never like to talk about them, but that, uh, that the enemy. The enemy's out there, too. The enemy's out there, and the enemy don't want to see you happy. He is a, a, is a spirit that is just as prevalent as that the, the sky above us. You got to make sure you're making your trials and tribulations that are not going to feed into what the enemy wants you to feed into. Like some of us make money, our, our God. Some of us make, uh, if you're a male, woman, uh, being a womanizer or whatever. It's just the things you do out there that you think is your goal, but it's just that enemy putting out there in front of you to pull you away from your goal eventually. You have got to keep this and this and that role plan of yours focused on your goals that's my thought yeah i mean it's just like um just like going to the gym if you don't train mm -hmm. you ain't gonna be able to do anything no so that's how i look you know i look at life like the gym you know i go to the gym yes you do unlike other people yep but i go there i'm really there but, but i was there 30 years before you so keep living still, they got keep a man living. right now in the gym 62 years old Still living there right now. We ain't going to get that into that. That ain't the topic though. of this conversation. We ain't, yeah, ain't, that ain't going to be the topic. But I look at life as the gym because when I first started going, I had to lift these weights, and I wasn't ready to lift all these weights. But, see, I had to look at – I couldn't look at what everybody else was doing. I had to focus on what I was doing. A lot of times right now, we're not focused on what – we're doing, we focus on what's happening on social media, we focus on what's happening here, what's happening there. You only got your eyes on the weight. So what happened is, boom, they hit your face. Boom, they hit your chest. They're hitting you every single time because you're not focused on what you're doing. So your trials and tribulations are your trials and tribulations. It's not the next person. The next person journey might be a little bit different than yours, but your journey, your time and your journey is coming. Everything is working. Don't question God. And ask God why if you ain't ready for the answer. Ooh, that was a good one. That was deep. That was a good one. I gave it that. Good. I can't even believe it. that was kind of like, I gotta, stop, I gotta stop hanging around you so often. That was deep. See, when I hang around Mr. Craig, it never happens. But <laughs> that's what it is for me. Like, I look at life like the gym. I look at it and I just believe that God is my spotter. God is walking with me every single day when I get on the when I get on the trail. Me walking with me. God is helping me pull down these weights. God is walking with me every single day. But a lot of times we tell God, I don't need no spotter. I don't need you to come and get with me on a treadmill. Mm. I don't need you to pull nothing down. I'm good. Well, I don't need nothing. Look at yes. <laughs> I don't need nothing. And every time you do that, only thing you're doing is you telling God, I don't need you for anything. Mm. But see, the bad thing about it is when you go to the hospital or when something happens bad, first thing you want to do is say, what? Look, my phone running at the same time. I'm about to say what I'm about to say. Run quick. You want to call on God. That's what you want to call on. It's not going to work that way. God doesn't just show up like a video game like you want him to. 
You need to go to God 365. No matter your ups or your downs, go to God 365. God save us, Craig. I know. I no, can't right, follow I'm, that. I'm hitting, I'm hitting him right now so hard. He don't even know what to say right now. I can't follow that because I agree with you. But you know what? You've got to. And, and, and we're not here to tell you what you got to do. We're just here to tell you how you have got to have a plan regardless of what you're trying to do. Whatever your goals are, better have a plan together. Because without a plan, you're going to go in the wrong direction. And in most cases... The evil one's going to help you go in the wrong direction because he don't want to see you happy. God knows where you're supposed to go. Sometimes he's got to let you go because he thinks he's got to let you do what you got to do until you realize it ain't the right way to go. So you're, you're being deep, you're being heavy today, my brother, and I'm I'm proud of you. Maybe maybe some of them need rubbing off. I'm deep and heavy every single time nah, I hear this nah, day, nah, man. Nah, nah, I'm nah. Kyle Jacker. They know I am. But anyway, as I was really interrupted, hey, Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You keep on watching these lines then video. But you know anybody to leave with no prayer, though. We got to give you a prayer before we do anything. That's, yeah. that's automatic. So right now, we're going to let Jacko pray. Because y'all know how Uncle Craig pray. You know, he prays forever in a day. You know, he prays for all Thanksgiving turkeys for 2025. So I'm going to do the prayer today. God, as I come to you right now, God, I want to say thank you for another amazing video, God. I want to say thank you for everything you're doing in my life. Thank you for everything you let me see. God, I want to pray for Mr. Craig right now. Everything that's coming against him that could be negative, I want everything to be positive. Anybody he could meet that's not the right person for him to be around, God, remove the people and make them a positive person. God, take care of his mom. Take care of his grandkids. Take care of his children. God, just keep on going out there doing everything you got to do for the Costin generation. Because I know one thing about this generation is going to grow and it's going to transform into something real big. God, to anybody watching this video right now that's going through any heartbreak, any pain or depression, God, I pray for all their pain and depression to leave and they can just circumcise everything to the side and give, give you all the love, all the righteousness. Everything that's supposed to be in there right now, give it all to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, man. Amen. You see how good to be going, man? I'm sick, bro. Wait till the seminary school start. Woo! We got two more months. We can't wait. Pastor Jacko is on the way. And guess what? We ain't going to let Mr. Craig be a part of the congregation at all because he be having Popeye's chicken, so we ain't let him do that at all. Popeye's a church, we ain't going to let him do that at all. But, man, this has been another episode of The Lions Den. Keep on watching us. Keep on just seeing what we're doing. And you already know what we do. My name is Kyle Jacko. I'm Craig OG Costa. And we out with love.